Hey guys, long time no see. I have been away from this channel for nine months. I'm not gonna get into why, because there's a lot of reasons to unpack and I need to do an actual video on that alone. But I am going to be starting a bit of a new series on my channel, which is going to be called the SOD Diaries. SOD, for those of you who don't know, is short for a condition called septo optic dysplasia which is what I have and essentially it's a congenital condition which can affect your optic nerves, your endocrine system because of the pituitary gland as well as other things and I thought I would start a series talking about some of the things, some of the weird and I think more not commonly known symptoms that I get as a result of the illness or things that just aren't mentioned when you google the condition because as probably many of you who have the condition know there's still not a lot of resources on it so I wanted to create a series talking about some of the weird and wonderful symptoms that I get as a result. And also this video is going to be a bit of a double whammy because I'm also going to be reviewing some trainers that I was recently gifted by a company called Fitville. I'll also add as a disclaimer, this is not a sponsored video, but these were very kindly gifted to me and my mum to try. So I thought I would also incorporate them into this video. For those of you who've never heard of this brand, Fitville is a brand that makes a variety of different shoes for people with different foot complaints and issues with their feet and to give your feet the best support possible, which is, you know, I think really important when you have any kind of foot issue. They come in a normal fit, wide fit and extra wide fit. I also have a discount code which is EMILY18 if you want to get 18% off your order with Fitville you can use that at checkout and you can get some money off a pair of Fitville shoes if you want to try them. I began having issues with my feet really from when I was very young but I started to notice them a lot more as I got older and started to wear more high heels and more uncomfortable shoes and the biggest culprit of foot pain for me personally is due to having water retention on my feet particularly. Now I have this due to the fact that I have an underactive thyroid or hypothyroidism as it's also known and what this can basically mean is that your body's organs are a bit more sluggish because the thyroid which is the gland that produces a hormone to help your other organs to work is a more sluggish so I take medication to help with that and now before anyone tells me to take herbal remedies that does not work for my illness because it's the actual pituitary gland that does not send the hormone to the thyroid to work so please don't tell me to take any herbal remedies because that won't work thank you very much because the the water retention just stays there because you know the the blood doesn't pump fully around the body it's another reason why you get things like cold hands and feet when you have underactive thyroids as well it's just a very complicated illness and as a result i've always had issues with my feet they've always been a bit more painful i've always had more swelling i have also had for the whole of my life something called an inverted hip i don't know if it's a result of having sod or if it's something else i don't know if it's because i don't produce any growth hormone and as a result i had issues with growth and development but i've always had an inverted hip where one of my hips which is the left one is slightly bent inwards and i've always walked with a very slight limp and i've always had to have physiotherapy for it anyway getting onto fitville I have been using these Fitville trainers for I want to say the last couple of weeks and oh my god they are just so comfortable they are like walking on clouds they are very comfortable. So this is my pair of shoes these are the Rebound Core shoes and this is the pink although I would say they're more grey and they have accents of pastel pink and blue on them. The sensation I got was kind of like what you'd feel when you do like yoga or something and you kind of feel like your body's being stretched back into alignment. When I first wore these shoes I felt like my feet were being pushed back into alignment like I honestly don't wear very comfortable shoes a lot of the time they're not supportive they're flat and I can literally feel my feet kind of like going at a weird angle I can feel that the arch is not supported and that does not help with my inverted hip at all and when I first started to wear these I could literally feel them pushing my feet back into the correct alignment it was not uncomfortable but it's just strange at first just because when you're not used to being in the correct position and you're used to not having very supportive shoes wearing supportive shoes is like oh wow okay this is how my feet 
are supposed to feel. I also have the wide fit as well, which is worth mentioning. I got the wide fit because of, again, my water retention and my swelling on my feet that I do get. I thought, now I'm gonna have some that actually have a little bit more room. And honestly, I am so used to being at work. I'm standing up all day because I work in retail. And I'm so used to, at the end of the day, coming home and literally having such painful feet to the point where like, I need to soak them for half an hour before I can even do anything. But with these, honestly, I really didn't have that much pain in my feet. Like, it was just the normal kind of ache that you get after going for a walk and being on your feet for a little while. Nothing compared to what I usually get. Other points to mention about these shoes is that they have cushioning, which you can definitely feel. They are anti-skid, which I've definitely noticed when I've taken these shoes out in the wet weather they have definitely been a little bit more easy to walk in they have 3d air mesh so they are quite breathable as well they have a shock absorption pad and they also have a removable insole with arch support so you can actually remove this insole as well and you can you know wash it and whatnot if you need to now this is my mum's pair of shoes. They are the same design as mine, but these are in army green and they have these pops of orange as well. She's had issues with plantar fasciitis for the last year now. And honestly, I've seen her try everything. She's bought every remedy and gadget under the sun. She's tried everything from freezing bottles of water and rolling them under her feet to, you know, buying gadgets and massage devices for her feet. She's currently having laser treatment for her thick feet as well, which is quite hard to get on the waiting list on the NHS, but she's currently going for laser therapy to try and help to correct it. I have literally seen her get up after sitting on the sofa and she looks like she's, you know, trying to do a remendition of Frilla. Like, you know, she looks like she's in so much pain. When she found out that Fitville had offered some trainers, she was so excited because these shoes are actually the ones that her podiatrist recommended. This is the brand that her podiatrist says that is the best one for any kind of foot problems or anyone who just wants to correct their foot posture and relieve foot pain. This is this is where it's at, guys. This so would you say that you've been getting the pain in your plantar fasciitis ridden foot since wearing these shoes, mum? No, I feel like they've really helped significantly. I can stand for longer periods of time. I can walk much further, which is something that I've really missed over the last year because I've not been able to walk for, for long periods, as you know. Um, when I take the shoes off, I'm not in excruciating pain like I was. I'm not needing to use things like um, uh, ibuprofen and paracetamol like I was. I, I still do the massaging on my feet, but I don't ha have to. Um, I feel like they support my ankles. They are a really, really comfortable shoe, and I, I absolutely love them. And would you recommend them to someone who has plantar fasciitis like yourself, if they was to ask you? Absolutely, 100%. <laughs> To summarise, foot pain is definitely part and parcel of having septo-optic dysplasia for a lot of people. Not necessarily everybody because I don't think that every single person would necessarily have an underactive thyroid with the condition. I think it is very common but not necessarily in every single person per se and I think that just not wearing proper footwear is one of those things that can really exacerbate the condition and can really make it worse. Honestly, I think the important things would be to invest time and if you can to invest some money in your feet so invest in a good pair of shoes that will actually support your feet like Fitville if you can go for treatments maybe try and get someone to look at your feet like a podiatrist and they could tell you if there's anything you could do further also I think if you do have an undirected thyroid get tested regularly which is very important because if you don't get blood tests regularly to check if you're on the correct amount of medication you may find that the condition with pain in your feet and swelling becomes worse as well and just spend time on your feet you know look after them spend time actually taking care of your feet spend time giving your feet a little bit of a pamper every so often soaking your feet massage can really help if you invest in your feet and you invest in actually making sure that they are properly looked after it can really really help so that's everything from me for today i really hope you found this video useful and insightful and i will be making more content on sod in the future so let me know if you've got any other 
areas that you'd like me to touch upon in the future please don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you haven't and also thank you so much to fitville for sending me the shoes to try and i will see you all in another video bye everybody